all right everyone welcome back to another mabinogi 101 now this video is made to be sweet short and simple for new and returning players this is kind of here to help point you in the right direction and give you the tools you need to succeed on your own now of course everything we talk about there's going to be a link down below in the description so that way you have access to this information on your own and you can get more detailed information if you would like So today we're actually going to be talking about the growth guide. Now you might be thinking, why does this matter to me, Hero? What is the point of the growth guide? So when it comes to the growth guide, it's actually just easy achievements that you can get completed from playing the game. Like gather 30 firewood with a gathering axe, make one finest firewood, gather 25 cobwebs from spiders. Now some of the things you can expect to get from this is a bag, as well as some pouches that will expand the size of the bag, some totems that will actually increase your damage, you know, your movement speed and things like that, as well as figures to put on your homestead that will boost your max damage min damage there's there's a there's a lot of great rewards here okay now you're probably wondering how the hell do i unlock it now once you complete volume three of blanid's brave boost you'll receive a quest called about the growth guide you gotta speak to avon even avon anyways you gotta speak to them in dumbarton as shown on the screen here now once you do that you'll unlock the ability to click on this silly little button down here and it's gonna pull up the growth guide Honestly, at this point in time, you've got everything that you need to move forward with the growth guide and there isn't too much else to talk about. So before you run off into the wild, there is a few things I want to mention about the growth guide. Now the growth guide has a couple different little sections within it. So the first two main one, combat growth and life skill growth. Combat growth will be things like achieve four grandmaster talent or even learn an arcana talent if you haven't already done that. And then for life skills, like I mentioned early in the video, it's gonna be things like collecting cobwebs, making firewood, collecting firewood, all that fun stuff. Now within the growth guide, there is also two sections where you can claim rewards. So for completing tasks like achieving four grandmaster talents, you can actually click the top right corner to claim those mini rewards. Now, as you complete more of like these mini, mini rewards, mini challenges, it adds to your total points down below. And then you can just click claim there to claim those as well. Honestly, all you gotta do is have fun, click around in it and play the game. You'll end up completing a lot of these passively. So honestly, there's no reason to sweat it unless you want a specific item sooner, then obviously go out and grind these tasks. But Again, playing the game passively, check in on it once in a while and you'll probably probably unlock quite a few things. So where the growth guide was recently released, I figured it'd be such a great piece of information for new and returning players. So honestly, have fun, click around in it, and I'm sure you'll be fine. Now, if you guys have questions about mechanics in the game or if there's anything that you're not sure about, feel free to drop a comment below. I'll try my best to get back to you. And who knows, maybe the next Mabby 101 We'll cover a topic that you're not so sure about. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, welcome to the game. If you're returning, welcome back and good luck on your journey in terms of getting stronger. And if you ever see me running around, feel free to come say hi. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and take care.